Nick here from Silicon Dust, talking today about rendering mono audio to stereo speakers. Now, if you're thinking, isn't most TV 5.1 these days? Yes, but with 5.1, the center channel is mono. And that means if you're ever watching on a TV with built-in stereo speakers, the TV is converting the mono center channel to render on stereo speakers. The other situation we see this is with the secondary audio track, which is sometimes mono. So this is really, really easy. And Dolby gets it right. Google, they sometimes get it wrong. TCL, they get it very, very wrong. So mono audio, if you want to render that properly, you have a single amplifier, a mono amplifier, feeding a single speaker. Now we want to render using a stereo amplifier driving stereo speakers. So let's have a look at a stereo amplifier. You can almost think of this as two mono amplifiers. You've got the left input, it's going to be amplified to drive the left speaker. You've got the right input, it's going to be amplified to drive the right speaker. There are two things that are in common that make this a stereo amplifier. First is the power supply. The second thing that's in common are metal rods. If we turn this around, the immediately obvious one is the volume control. So electrically, there are two volume controls, one for the left, one for the right. They are mechanically connected together using a metal rod to the front volume knob. Same thing for the bass. There are two bass circuits, one for left, one for right. They connect together using a metal rod the front control. The really fun one is the balance control. So balance control is really a volume control. So again, you've got two separate balance volume controls, uh, one for left, one for right. They're mechanically connected using a common spindle, but one of them is back to front on the spindle. That means as you turn the volume up on one channel, you're turning the volume down on the other channel. Jumping back to mono audio, if we feed mono audio down the left channel to the left speaker, we get mono audio. If we duplicate that audio and feed it down the right amplifier, the problem is now we have two amplifiers and two speakers. The result is twice the total channel power. It's louder. So if we go back, jump back to the digital world for a bit, so in the digital world, we want to reduce the, we want to duplicate and reduce. The, we don't divide by two. If we have the digital level, we're halving the voltage. If we have the voltage, we're also halving the current. The result of that is a quarter of the power, not half the power, is what we're going for. So we need a, something that's in between. So we divide by the square root of two, which is the same as multiplying by 0.707 you might recognize as being a 3 dB drop, which is what we want. We want half the power. Now I said that Google sometimes gets this wrong, specifically for HEAAC V1. So if you take mono audio and you compress it using HEAAC V1, then you use an Android device using Google's codec to decode HEAAC V1. What you get out of the codec is not mono, but two channel audio, where both of those channels are the full power of the original mono. The result is twice the output power of the original recording. Before we get to TCL, let's talk about how 5.1 works on TV. So the simplest show would be a game show. Other things like sporting events do something similar, much more complicated, but the simplest is a game show. The game show really has two audio tracks. The first audio track is the dialogue. This is the presenter, the contestant, what they're saying. This is the center channel. The second audio track is the audience. That's the clapping and the, the audience sounds. It gets split to rear left, rear right. So it comes from behind you. Main left, main right actually don't really do anything for a game show. They might get used for the jingles and lead in, lead out type stuff. But for the actual main content of a game show, there's nothing on main left, main right. So when you take this and you want to play it on stereo speakers, the center channel has to get duplicated and volume adjusted for main left, main right. 
and the rear speakers have to get put on main left to main right. TCL doesn't do this. If you have a TCL TV that runs Android TV and you try to play ATSC 3 content, that's content where the audio codec is AC4, the TV decodes the 5.1 audio, but what it delivers out of the codec is just main left, main right. It throws away the center channel, and it throws away the rear left and rear right channels. Now, in our game show example, no center channel means there's no dialogue, and no rear left, rear right means there's no audience. There's basically nothing left. You get the jingle as the show starts, you get a bit of lead in and lead out, and that's it. You can't watch the show. Now, if you try the HD Home Run app on a TCL TV, you'll find it plays correctly. We achieve this by detecting that it's the TCL TV, not using the built-in codec, instead redirecting the audio through our cloud transcode service, which does the conversion correctly. The important takeaway. Next time you find yourself coding the conversion of mono audio out of stereo output path, be sure to adjust the channel levels to ensure the same total channel power as the original mono audio. Thanks for watching.